Hello. All right, big moment. We're trying the Telefia creamer. Jeremy hates it. It's atrocious. Don't buy it, you guys. Don't buy it. It's terrible. Holy sh! It's terrible. And I like showed it in my last video like I was proud of it. later so I don't really want stuff in my hair, you know what I'm saying. Once I get this new eyebrow routine down, I will show you guys what I'm doing, but right now I feel like not very proud to show all the fine details of what's happening right now. Alright, this is the look for today. Really plain and not very exciting. I'm trying to get some heat in here because it's cold. actually do our eye appointment today we'll be doing it later this month but we already picked out the glasses that we like as you guys saw if you're worried about the process being clean enough they tell us to just put down the glasses on the counter instead of hanging them back up so they can sanitize them before they put them back up there we go this one's in Raleigh and they've always been super helpful so highly recommend now we're gonna drop off some donations we decluttered our closet a couple weeks ago taking care of business it's a small room so gotta wait a minute have a good one mind if i look at clothes for 10 minutes no you have five minutes <sighs> Lucky you, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, we can peace out. REI? They were cheaper than REI. They were a little cheaper, but REI had more options. Are we walking? I don't know. <laughs> some Starbucks. We're like late afternoon, barely making it, need something to give us a push. Jeremy, you need to scoot up a little bit. And I'm so ready for this. I'm interested to see how this turns out. I just ordered an iced pistachio latte with almond milk. More latte. Well folks, it's tasty. It's not very sweet and I like that, but it's not bitter either and it's yummy. I'll show you bitter. And country. <laughs> what am I, a poser? Uh, in case you want to order it, here you go. 
almond milk pistachio latte iced. Okay, we're home. Well, it's about that time where my roots desperately need a touch up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the same dye that I used when I actually dyed it black. It's called black sesame deep soft black So it's not like a blue black or anything like that by any means But I'm hoping that even though I'm just doing the roots I'm hoping it'll blend with the part that's slightly faded now. We'll see if it doesn't work You live and you learn. I'll do something else if that plan doesn't work as I always do So let me get suited up in my horrific hair dyeing clothes and we'll get started. Let me tell you, it is just like the good old days in here. The camera is taped to the mirror. I didn't feel like setting up the whole tripod, ring light, camcorder, microphone. It just gets all messy and this isn't gonna take that long so we might as well just do a quick little tape setup. <laughs> here it is. Usually, even with convenient bottle stuff, I end up putting it in a bowl and mixing it that way. But since we're just doing the roots, we're gonna be able to just squeeze it directly where it needs to go. So I'm not gonna do that. Gotta mix A, B, and C together. B is nice and empty. Moving on to C. I think I threw away my black vinyl gloves, so we're stuck with the instruction pamphlet gloves. So Vaseline or any petroleum jelly works great on the hairline. Just make sure not to get it in the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good shake. We'll get a head start on that. Now, I'm going to put some of this on my hairline. The main place I'm worried about is right here. You know, this stuff. And then if you want to put some on your ears, you can, but it will get kind of on your hair and messy. Before I get started though, I will say, this right here is a growing outside cut. Don't mind that, or try not to. <laughs> the brush so that I can do it more precisely rather than just smudging it on with my fingers. I'm going to start with the areas that are often exposed. I'll prioritize the areas because we only have one bottle. Probably could have bought more but I didn't feel like purchasing more. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the part and take the brush and spread it. extra so what I ended up doing in the back like on the hairline was squeezing it onto my fingertips rubbing it together and running it up the back and while this is processing I just wanted to um, explain that I'm cool with just doing the roots because I don't want to saturate all of my hair with more and more and more and more and more black dye when I really don't need it I'm okay with it turning out to be a faded more soft natural looking black. I just want the roots to not be light brown like they were. I'm trying to keep in mind that in the future I'm gonna want to change my hair again so I'm not gonna make my job a thousand times harder by resaturating it with black dye every single time. The one thing that I'm nervous about in the future though is when I go to bleach in the future if I want to lighten my hair I'm worried about having a ring around because I've done my roots. Where I have a little bit of overlap, it's gonna be harder to get it out. In the future, I guess we'll just deal with it then. Let me take this camera off the mirror. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm just gonna wash it out with conditioner only no shampoo because I feel like when you use shampoo you take a little more dye out of it than you should I don't know if that theory is correct but that's just my guess oh how fun you guys get to see me without makeup eyebrows or eyelashes basically I'm so happy that my hair is nice and fresh now no rootage as Guy Tang would say it's all just fresh and dark and gray 
every time my side cut starts to dry, it gets floofy. I'm gonna show you guys a better view of my hair tomorrow. Well, my hair is dry, and uh, right now I'm gonna go eat some pretzel nuggets. My brother made some really good vegan chili, and I'm heating some up in the microwave right now. I'm gonna put some BioLife shreds in it. BioLife is a vegan cheese that's really good. And I'm gonna eat it with some pit corn, corn chips. Yeah, if you, oh no. This is what happens when you don't put the cover over your food in the microwave. Don't be like me, guys. My brother cooked this vegan chili and he did a video on it for his channel and if you haven't checked out his channel yet I highly suggest you do so because he makes a lot of yummy stuff. Chefin with Chefri is what it's called. Let's continue what we started. These are yummy. They're like Fritos but so much better because they're not as juicy as Fritos but they're just as salty. <laughs> I almost forgot to load it up with jalapenos. Mm -hmm. So here's one more good look at how it turned out. My roots are gone and it fades nicely with the rest of my hair. So I'm happy for sure. I don't know why an outro was so hard for me to film, but I've done this like 12 times now. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this style vlog where I kind of just do what I would do in a sit down video in the vlog. Uh, I just think it's a nice way to make my channel make more sense rather than a few off topic things together. Now it's just, you know, my life. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully see you sometime next week. I hope you have a good day or night or whatever it is for you. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Bye.